think the Governance Code um, has done as much as it can to provide a framework uh, that should mostly allow directors to think freely about uh, business performance and strategy. Um, I think there's a danger that if, uh, you know, if it's too prescriptive, um, then um, you know, directors just do what they're told to do as opposed to really adding value from their own experiences. So I, I don't think it'll help performance, I'm afraid, no. The reform in the Corporate Governance Code will impact business, especially where it's talking about companies focusing on their purpose, their culture, uh, and how they're trying to articulate uh, value for all their stakeholders. Uh, in, and I think that's really important for the long-term health of the company. And one of the things that we've been doing at EY has been working over the last 18 months with a group of global participants to try and shape uh, an agreed way between companies, investment managers and pension fund owners of how companies would better articulate uh, the stakeholder value that they're creating and an example of metrics that they could use to support that, uh, that value creation journey. I think the Corporate Governance Code fundamentally is structured very well. Uh, but in the end, performance is about what happens in real life. What do people actually do? It starts with people. Well, I think the, the Corporate Governance co Code can add value to a business, and it depends on how that, that business is going to approach it. Um, but ultimately, what a board should be looking for is for it to increase the effectiveness and the overall performance of a company. Um, you really need to look at the spirit of the code, the outcomes that the code is looking to achieve, and from that perspective to then reflect on how you can then adapt the code into your business to enhance your performance. The risk is, if it's going to be viewed as an obligation, a range of boxes that need to be ticked, then I'm not sure that it will add the value that's desired. Thank you.